Yes, good morning. Hi, it's uh, Dr. Bob Flower, and uh, it's the Monday, uh, March 19th, Master Pattern Report. Hope you all had a uh, great week. Okay, so let's look at uh, how we did last week. Um, the uh, Our call on the S&P uh, moving down on the 16th was uh, right on target. Um, the um, uh, silver uh, was up on the 14th, uh, and it was up on the 15th. Uh, we had called... Um, uh, down, I think it was on the 14th. Uh, I believe that's, yeah, no, up on the, yes, down on the 14th, up on the 15th. So um, we had half that equation uh, right. That, that move, uh, by the way, on the uh, 14th was a significant move, as you may uh, recall, it was a 3% move up. Okay, <clears throat> uh, coming up, the, um, uh, today, we're looking at uh, an up move for silver as well as on the 23rd. And uh, the S&P, uh, we're looking at uh, uh, up this week on the 22nd and perhaps the 23rd. The, the call is actually, um, uh, there looks to be a good move on the 24th. Uh, but, of course, the 24th is Saturday, so that, um, that may occur uh, uh, either on a Friday or, or Monday. Okay, so um, the market uh, continues its uh, its move up. Uh, the metals continue their move downward, um, and uh, we think that that's going to stay in place for at least another couple of weeks. We we don't think that um, we're going to see anything significant. Uh, interest rates, uh, however, as we had predicted, uh, and we did buy some options, uh, are moving up, and the. Uh, it, it appears that the patterns for interest rates are starting to take a, um, a, a noticeable um, uh, up move. So uh, I think what we might be seeing is some, the trouble that we've been predicting for this year may not be too far away and it, you know it's a it's it's sort of a catch-22 situation here uh, because what's been happening uh, as some of you are aware uh, that for the past couple of years whenever the economy gets good it seems like oil prices uh, and now um, interest rates spike so um, we become victims uh, of our own success, so to speak. <clears throat> Not that this uh, economy is in such great shape, uh, but uh, the, uh, the opportunities that present themselves for the economy moving forward and up um, uh, are being taken advantage of and uh, uh, subsequently I think that this is going to be a situation where people just simply just give up, and um, again, your 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 chaos and confusion will come from a total breakdown of our economy, uh, not, not because banks fail or because the government is spending too much money, but simply because, as we have been predicting since 2007, it's a breakdown in law and order, uh, a, a breakdown in in processes. People are only going to take so much of this, and you know their recourses throughout history are you know uh, violence, uh, rioting, um, revolution. Uh, I don't see that happening. Although there will be, I, I do believe that there's going to be significant violence in the streets. I I, I don't think that that's. I, I think what's going to happen is people are just going to simply give up and um, not follow the rules anymore and the, the, um, uh, the governments and the agencies uh, of uh, the United States and, and the states and local municipalities will not be able to handle them. There'll be, there'll be such a, 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 a great uh, uh, influx of, of dislaw and order in, in, the, in, in the, the economics of the country that uh, it'll uh, just simply tear the country apart and, um, and, and things will, will fall apart. Uh, maybe it won't totally dissolve the United States, but it'll sure make things so bad that uh, 
we, we will have to uh, change the rules uh, considerably. Now, talking about changing the rules, let me talk to you a little bit about politics. There's something that came out late last Friday out of the White House that uh, has a lot of people very worried about. Uh, and this is an executive order for martial law. Uh, it's a peacetime martial law uh, order that, in effect, is pretty widespread. Uh, it, 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 uh, it's couched under the auspices of uh, making certain that our, our defense uh, systems uh, and our security systems are working in, in proper order and in full content, full contexts. Um, and and th this executive order uh, does a number of things that are very, very bothersome. In effect, it gives sweeping powers to Homeland Security, Department of Defense, um, to, to do just about whatever they want to make certain that um, given industries and the economy in general are in sufficient order to um, circumvent any type of uh, covert action. Uh, now, what that means is one of the things that they're, they're unable to do here is to, um, uh, is to uh, make loans to, to, for whatever purposes, to strengthen um, certain, certain um, uh, companies or, or industries. Um, and and to make uh, subsidies uh, to to such companies or agencies or um, uh, functionaries that would come under their auspices. Um, now, this among uh, constitutional violations that the White House has engaged in, and and I'm I'm more I'm reading on this. The more disturbing it is, because it 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 looks as if this prediction, um, this whole direction that we we took on um, uh, five years ago, it is rapidly coming to the surface here, and that is again uh, the uh, breakdown of law and order, uh, and this is coming directly from the top. This is coming right from our our politicians, our president. Our Congress. I mean, you name it. I'm, I'm not excluding anybody here. Uh, they're, they're, this, this is turning into a, uh, uh, in, in, into a, a, a oligarchy and a, and a uh, uh, dictatorship in uh, in rapid fashion here. There's nothing that they uh, that they won't uh, they won't try, and the um, the behind the scenes um, casting of of intents and purposes are readily coming to the surface too. Uh, and this this recent uh, uh, film, uh, I think it was a CNN film, of um, Eric Holder uh, back uh, 10, 15 years ago proposing uh, that uh, the nature of guns um, in this country, the, the, the character and uh, uh, the standing of guns in this country uh, be undermined. And that's exactly what, what the, the, this this uh, CNN uh, uh, film is is all about uh, that was just recently uncovered. So you, you see where with the mindset uh, of these people and where they're going, and and what's happening. And you know, uh, the, the funniest thing is as we were talking about before, with um, we're being a victim um, of our own success, uh, and, and you know the master manipulators taking over our wealth. The same thing is happening, um, I can see, with this whole liberal agenda for, uh, you know, openness and forgiveness. Uh, the more power they're giving to, to, this, to this notion, especially of this president, um, the, the more the chances of them, them being bitten in the backside by it. Uh, that they they tend, I mean exactly what Hitler did, um, and, and and I see that I see that type of spirit being being introduced once again. You know that once they get to a certain point, it's too damn late to change it. Okay, 
and and <laughs> it, it's it's annoying and it's bothersome, but it, it looks like it's becoming uh, very much a reality. All right. So now, um, uh, um, two other things I want to cover. Um, we have um, uh, what we're doing now is we, we have a number of various businesses that we are proposing uh, to uh, our people, our viewers, and, and uh, the colleagues and whatnot uh, that are available in this. Uh, uh, well, actually, throughout the country, but. Uh, you know, in this tri-state area <clears throat> where we're located, um, anybody who might have an interest in going into any one of these businesses, uh, we have for partnerships, um, venture capital uh, that that's available for you. Uh, we could we could uh, provide not only uh, capital for the acquisition of these different types of businesses, but uh, uh, management and business skills uh, from people who have been there, done that. Um, so as to create a, 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 a joint venture between um, the, the doers and the, the functionaries and and uh, the uh, so-called creators and planners okay um, now these these businesses include anything from uh, beauty salons to uh, uh, art distribution and uh, sales and hardware stores and trucking and uh, Various types of related, um, even restaurants, but we, we really don't like to, to, to get into things like restaurants. Uh, but uh, just about any type of uh, business you could uh, you could think of, uh, money money exchange, uh, foreign currency exchange, things of that sort. So if you have any interest, if you've got a, just a couple of dollars, the majority of the money will be put up by our venture venture capitalists uh, who will be, uh, we'll be partners uh let us know. We're, we're, we would love to help uh, uh, people be more prosperous and uh, be more involved uh, in, uh, uh, in, in achieving the American dream in spite of everything that, that's, uh, that's going on. And um, uh, we think we, we have a great deal of experience in, uh, in all these areas to, to, to help and, and promote. Okay? And likewise, if you're an investor, somebody who, who wants to get involved, just drop us a line, go to our website, which is www.masterpattern.com, okay? Uh, and you can see our charts and whatnot and what we're, what we're working on, what we're projecting uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to the day. Okay, uh, the last thing I really want to talk about is uh, how uh, the American people uh, have fallen uh, victim to this whole notion of uh, uh, self-service, um, uh, uh, this lifestyle, um, and poor poor value decisions, uh, and how it's it's really deteriorating our country uh, because a, a large mem number of uh, members of of the uh, population are just simply looking to gain whatever they can for themselves and, and that's it. it you know it's it's no longer a um, a move towards um, um, my country it's a move towards me and um, you know uh, that doesn't work there has to be a degree of responsibility and from everybody from everybody from the rich and the poor uh, towards uh, achieving um, things that are well uh, beyond um, the self. Uh, with this, the self grows. Uh, potential is achieved uh, because we are pursuing values that are uh, uh, timeless. Uh, things that will um, always be primary and first in the mastery of uh, of any uh, of any country, of any nation, of any uh, even business or family, okay, it, it, it becomes uh, all the same. Um, and I, I think we need to reflect on this. In fact, I think we need to do a conference on this. I mean, you know, I think some things that we have um, to to discuss, and with the wonderful response that we get from actually from all over the world uh, on on some of these subjects, I think needs to be. Uh, 
needs to be aired out. I, I, I'm, I, you know, perhaps those of you who are good organizers, uh, we need to uh, we need to come together and um, and formulate something uh, someplace um, that would be interesting. People could come and voice their opinions, and all you hate mongers out there and and, and, and lovers of whatever uh, come free and um, uh, cast your your opinion and uh, your votes for uh, uh, a better world in, in some way so um, yeah let's let's hear from you on that this could be this this, this might be something uh, something interesting that we, we all might uh, enjoy um, the, Today, I think we're, we're envisioning uh, a, a, a move, a positive move in our economy. I, I, it's weak. I don't think we're going to be going anywhere significant. Uh, I really do think that we're in for a, a major breakdown uh, simply because of, of the burdens and pressures that are being put on the little guy um, and the average person um, are... are, are are too much, and the competence of our leaders is is too limited. Um, keep that in mind when you uh, when you go vote, or if you want to get involved. Uh, I think this is a theme that needs to be carried through, um, and uh, it, it goes beyond uh, capability. It goes to the, to the spirit of uh, uh, what what you know America is, and that uh, invisible guiding hand once again of uh, of Adam Smith. And not that controlling uh, arm of government, which we, we've come to uh, see so much of today. So um, uh, I want to wish you all a, 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 a great week. Uh, we're we're maybe doing another um, show, um, maybe a, a twice a week thing, shorter duration, but twice a week, perhaps fifteen minutes uh, each or something like that. Um, stay tuned. Um, Good to see you. Have a great week and be well.